What's up, everyone? My name is Pi, and welcome to SR Lounge, we're here to help you be a better photographer. It's a journey, and we're gonna take those steps together. All right, enough with the mumbo jumbo. For this particular video, I have a very short, just a 60 second quick tip when it comes to your workflow for retouching, for basically cloning and healing inside of Photoshop. Now you can use this technique for really anything you want, but it's something that I find that when we get new editors in the studio that most people are not doing. And I'm actually surprised about because it's something that will really help your workflow. Now, let me show you what we all typically do when we get into light, uh, into Photoshop. What we do is we'll get on our background layer and hit Control J or Command J to jump that layer to a new one. And then we'll basically make all of our edits or our adjustments to this new layer so that way we're not affecting the original background layer. And that's great, that's fine, that's dandy, that's better than not doing that. But there's actually a more simple approach, okay? So watch this. What we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna create a new layer. This is a new blank layer and I'm gonna call this my clone and heal layer. Now from here, what I can do is hit J or use or hit S to uh, select either your clone stamp or your healing tool. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna start fixing certain areas. Now typically our tool comes default selected to sample current layer. Now most people aren't paying attention to what that setting actually is. And this is what happens when you sample from this layer and you try and paint, nothing happens because your current layer is blank and you're sampling from your current layer. So nothing is painted in, nothing happens. And so that's why most of us default to hitting control J, duplicating the background and working on that layer and then masking out if necessary to undo things. But watch this. If we change the sample right here to current and below, then what's gonna happen now is it actually samples from the current layer and also whatever layers are below this clone heel layer that I've selected, and that's the background layer. If we select the sample from all layers, it'll go all layers in our Photoshop file. Now generally we don't use this, we usually use current and below because it lets us know exactly where it's pulling from and we can kind of be a little more precise, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is hold down Alt or Option just to sample an area. Now I'm just gonna heal out that little uh, speck and I think those are little dust flecks that are Either that or just a little something on the wall. Okay, so what that just did now is rather than healing directly onto the background layer, what it's done is actually painted in just using the area that we've healed. So essentially we just healed, uh, we pulled that sample from the background and it painted in over this new layer. Now this is absolutely fantastic because at any point in time we can turn this on or off, we can see exactly what we've done. We can also hit E for the eraser tool and we actually just paint out the adjustment. So if you've worked through the image and let's say we work down here where this area is a little more complex and let's say that we use the healing tool instead of say, I, I would actually clone stamp this out if I want to remove this. But let's just say we've done this and we paint over and well, it doesn't really look all that great. Well, I can just hit E and erase out that little area that I just did. Okay, so it's very simple and our other stuff remains intact. So turning it on and off, erasing certain areas, it becomes very simple from a workflow standpoint to keep track of what's been done. And when you're done, you just hit the little eyeball to see what you've done on the layer, make sure everything's good and you're done. Okay, so this is my favorite way when it comes to making simple retouches, cleaning up skin and so forth, is just to create a new clone heel layer, a blank layer, and then sample from below. And remember that both the clone stamp tool has the sample from current and below settings and also your healing tool has the same thing. Okay, so the healing brushes uh, can also do the same thing. Hopefully you all enjoyed this quick little Photoshop tip. If you like our videos, be sure to click thumbs up. If you wanna see certain things in our videos, we'll comment, let us know, and share SR Lounge with your friends so we can continue to do what we love to do and help us all be better photographers. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.